Okay, um, so welcome to lesson six, and now we're just going to be coloring the apple. Okay, Yao Chen, question? Candles? Candle didn't my color pencil. Yeah, yeah, go get your color. I thought we were buying a cat today, that cat. Oh, no, no, we, we have two classes for cl cat. I can't talk. All right, anyways, and the reminders, same thing as every week. So just prepare your materials, and then uh, make sure to be on time. And if I'm talking too fast, just mute and say it basically okay and then what I'm colors going... do you need again what colors i only got so, red yellow and orange red orange yellow brown black and white brown. which color is around so i have them on the screen so red orange yellow brown black and white which color? Mm. orange why do we need white um, because there's a highlight. Do you see the white highlight? Yeah, but white. White won't show up. Um, no, 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 no. Um, basically, white can be used as a blender. It can also be used to like lighten up, like you know, certain spots. Um, if you make it too dark, you can make it lighter, like that. So that really that's what fresh. white is for. And and then if you put white down first and you draw something on top. You won't really see it. Okay, so right now I'm gonna use since my lines are way too what color dark. Are we using yellow. again? So we're using red, orange, yellow, red, um, orange, yellow, brown. Yeah, brown, black, and white. Red, orange, red. Yeah. Okay. I have them on red, the orange. screen. This is red. Okay, red, yellow, brown. Is lab brown or dark brown or normal brown? Uh, you have a bunch of browns. I only picked one because I don't know. Okay, so you can use all of them. But um, if you think that one part is lighter and you want to use, if I said like use brown lightly, you can use the light brown. If I say like use brown moderately like uh you can use the normal one and if it's a dark spot you can use it's darker brown but if your browns are way too light then just use the darker brown it's fine okay so i just i just i'm gonna erase like all the i'm gonna slightly like lightly erase the pencil marks so you can still see that they're still there but i erase them so that it's easier for me to color and then um i also marked out the places like where you um uh, like the separated colors of the apple, and okay. so so we're gonna start by shading in the whole thing really lightly with red. So we're just gonna really lightly shade in the whole entire thing, but avoid uh, avoid the um the highlight right here. So like avoid it completely. You go around it. And then try to shade in circles so that um, you won't see like, like the markings. If you shade in one direction, you can you can probably see which direction you're shading. But when you're shading in circles, like small circles, not big ones, when you're shading in small circles, um, you can't really see what direction uh, the lines are going so that it's really, it's easier and it looks better. So you can see that I'm shading it really lightly that it looks pink because of the paper is white, and so white plus red equals pink. There's this dot right here, it's bothering me. It's fine, it's fine. Um, I can just cover it up later. Plus two. Plus you again. So yeah, this is gonna take a little while to cover up. So we're just gonna shade in the whole thing. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go faster now because this takes a long time. And um, if you're not done, can I start like layering the colors? 
you can like pause and then just complete the part that I'm talking about. And then you can just start layering while I'm layering too. So you will miss out. Like you don't have to like shade in the whole thing just yet. I'm just doing it just to have it there. Okay, it should be most of the apple except for the top. Okay, now I'm gonna start layering. So we're gonna actually start at the, the dark parts. I'm gonna show from my pencil. Okay, so we're gonna start with the dark parts. I um, think that'd be easier because usually I start with dark parts. So the dark part is in the middle towards the top on the left side of the highlight. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna mark it out really lightly with this with this brown. Um, it should be like a, like a diamond shape, I think, uh, but it's a, it's a little irregular, let's just say. So um, you can like, it doesn't have to be exactly like the picture. You can just like keep it in that place and then you can just, the shape doesn't really matter. So it can just be a blob like this. Okay, and then as you can see, the apple isn't just a giant blob, right? It has texture. So I see streaks going down. So we're gonna we're gonna try to copy that with the orange and my orange is a sharp green. Okay, that should be good. So try to keep your pencil sharpened but not too sharp so that the tip breaks when you like and it, it like makes it really hard looking. Um so we're gonna just draw, we're gonna add in the orange, but we're gonna make it streaky, like vertical lines. So you have that texture in there. And I'm only doing this section for now. And then I'm gonna go like, since um apple, when it's like round, it goes from one tip and it, it like curves down to the bottom. So it curves like this. You know how like a pumpkin has those, those curves? Mm -hmm. That's basically what you're doing with an apple, but it's not as prominent as like a pumpkin, you know? Like it's more smooth, apple is smooth. That's why it has a gleam, because it is a really white um, highlight. Okay, so we have the darkest part marked out. And then I'm gonna go, so black is actually not a very recommended color to use, especially when you're using prism colors, which are really soft but I don't think anybody has prisma colors right now. So I'm gonna say with your other color pencil, you can use black, but use it really lightly. So I'm gonna use it really lightly just to mark out the darker spot better. So I'm gonna really lightly, and it makes it really dark if you press really hard or too hard. And I'm just gonna add a little black just to mark out the dark spot further. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with the brown again. And then I'm going to color in the rest of the dark part. So it, it, it this is the darkest spot, right? And then there's more dark spots right here. It's more red right here. I'm sketching it out lightly with my pencil so that you can see. And you can also do this, but try not to make it like one line. Try to make it so that it's like really sketchy like this. And you can shade it in. And then after we shade in all the browns and the oranges, we can go back with the red just to make it look redder. Okay, there's also another, there's more brown here. Okay, but this brown over here is lighter. So there's just a bunch of brown over here. Okay, and then there's like, there's a shadow right here in this corner, right? So you can just shade that in a little bit really lightly and make sure it fades out when you get to like towards the inside of the apple. Okay, I can like cover that up with the shadows. I can just go out a little bit with the brown. Oh, touch. 
Okay, so now I'm going to go in. This is just layering. So we're going to go back in with the orange and make the streaks. And then for the very light parts, we're gonna use yellow, but we're gonna we're gonna finish the dark parts first, and then we're gonna use yellow. Oh, and Stephanie, did you find your yellow? Because last time you didn't have your yellow. Um, I buy the new one. Oh, okay, yeah, that's good. There's all my crayons. I buy a new. Yeah, because school starting for me. It's tomorrow. What? For me, for yeah, me, my school cause... started last week on Thursday. Oh, I started last sad. week Monday. I started it's tomorrow. I started on August twelfth, but because of the Delta, uh -huh. I'm homeschooling. Okay. Wait. It's so, okay. Okay. We're gonna go back. So we're gonna just keep on layering. So I think it's not. It's too light right now. So I'm gonna keep laying the brown on, so that I can make it darker. And then I'm going to I'm going to try to press harder with the red now just to cover up more with the red. And make sure your sides aren't too dark because we're going to we're going to try to draw in that reflection. And so if your sides are too dark, we can't like cover it up with like some of the white to make that reflection. And make oh, sure yeah. to when you're not using when you're not using the the orange, make sure to draw in circles, so that um, you can get that really smooth color. So now, as you can see, that you're layering it up, and it's getting darker and darker. Once you get to like your second coating of red, it, your red you can crest a little harder than like the brown, so that you can get that nice dark shade of red. And then we just keep on layering. That's, that's basically layering. And then for blending, basically, um, uh, this apple is pretty easy to blend. Um, it's not very detailed, so you can just like soften it up the edges so that it's like all nicely soft. Like um, all the colors are nice and blurred, and it's really soft, so that um, you can see that there's a little transition between your colors. And then we can make the um, once you added the second layer of your red, um, we can go in and add in the yellow uh, right here. There's like the yellow usually on the bottom part and a little bit on the top with the streaks. So on the bottom part, the yellows are like, they're like circles. You can press a little harder just to make sure that the yellow goes through. And it looks pretty orange because of the red but you can see the yellow in it, so that's good. And then um, on the bottom, you can draw like harder circles. You can like press harder with it, like this, and then try to make, try to copy the, the texture on the apple. So as you can see, the apple is a little spotty on the bottom, and then it's a little streaky on the top. So that's what we can do. And then we're just going to go in and then um, see which part is like spotty, yellowish, and then like some parts are streaky, like here. Right, okay. And then if it looks too orange, we can always go in with the red and then we can just cover it up. And since I haven't like um, burnished it all the way down so that it's super solid color. Like you can still see white spots. Um, I can keep on adding color. And my yellow is getting dull. So I'm gonna sharpen. Okay, and then I'm gonna keep on going with the yellow because the yellow has a lot of detail. Um. The basic detail is just the spots, which is you can just like do little circles like what I'm doing right now. On screen, it looks really orange. 
for some reason. Okay. But that's okay. Mm -hmm. I guess it'll look like orange. I don't blind me. No on, on my screen or oh uh, my. Um if it looks orange, you can go in with the white. You can just blend it in and then try to bring out the yellow more. Like this. Yeah, it works. Yeah. And then it, it like it lessens basically what it does is it makes like it makes the orange less sharp. And it, it brings out the yellow more because white, it like dulls it. It dulls the sharper colors. Okay. And then we can go back in with the red and then just keep on going with the streaks. Hmm. And then I feel like the dark part is getting a little... Like, as I, like, make the lighter part more yellow, the darker part is getting a little lighter. Like, it seems a little lighter than before. So, we're going to have to um, go back and then layer some more. Okay, and then there's this darker part in this corner. I'm gonna I'm gonna press harder with my brown now, just because there's a lot of color below it. So I have to color everything. I have to cover it up. So I'm gonna press a little harder just so it can show through. Okay, and then I'm gonna go on top with the red, just to bring out that brown and then make it darker. And it's and then try to fade it out so that it blends in with the the, the lighter color. And we're just keep on layering that part until we get like a smooth brown. And also try to add in a little yellow to the the brown red shadow part. Why well, just use light brown? Um. Yes, you can use light brown for that. Oh, why did you use light brown? I mean, like, you can use light brown. As long as you're not pressing too hard, it doesn't really matter if it's light. If it's dark, then it's hard to cover up. Is this brown okay? Yes, that's a good brown. Why is it not too sh I don't want Okay, and then just remember to fade it out, fade out your uh, your colors, and then that's basically the basics of blending. You just fade it out into another color. Okay, and then at this point, we don't need the orange. We don't really need the orange that much right now. Okay, and then I'm gonna continue on this side. And I'm gonna, con since my my yellow lighter part is almost finished, I'm gonna continue and I'm gonna just keep on layering the darker colors. So I'm gonna start with the very dark part, the dark, the super dark part. Okay. 
my apple looks really bright right now and i'm gonna try to turn it down with the white so white just acts as like a mixer and then you can make it like you can try it if it's like sharp super sharp and like bright you can like add it in just to like smoothen it out and make it like less bright even the white is like it's supposed to be the brightest color you know because it's white oh. but it's actually not uh and fun fact you know um white you know a white light consists of all the colors of the rainbow yeah i know yeah right. it's really weird because if you actually mix all like with paint if you mix all the colors together it makes brown it's just really weird. It doesn't make white. <laughs> it makes brown. Yeah, and then light's just weird like that. Yes, more I science. I learned that in science class last year. Yeah, uh, more science. Okay. So, from now, we just start blending, basically. So, I finished the white. The, the, not white, the lighter part of my uh, apple, and then I'm gonna go on with the the darker part. And then I'm just gonna keep on going. So same steps, uh, base color, keep on layering your colors. And then uh, right now I'm just alternating between brown and red. And then in the end, I'm going to probably add in a little bit of black again, just to make it stand out more. I'm going to use the yellow just to blend everything in from, from the, the darker part to the lighter part. And I can also use the white to mix, like, to make the texture, you know, the streaky parts. Um, and then, um, also the highlight part, um, you just put in some white, that's it. Um, and then just blend it out. Like we can like smooth in and out with the other part, the red. So we just press really hard to blend it. It looks pink right now, but that's okay. Okay, we got the highlight on. And then it looks like there's like this pink circle around it, but that's only because we did it shade in this whole thing right here. Um, yeah, and then we didn't burnish it all the way. That's why there's like this pink thing. So we're, we can just um, smooth it out with the yellow first. So you, you, it looks orange right now. And then we're gonna layer it on the, the, the red. So there's yellow on the top of the apple, but there's like more red than, than the bottom part. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I didn't finish the darker part yet because it's not fully, there's still some white spots. So what we're working towards is just to cover up all the white spots, but also mixing in the um, right colors. That's basically the goal here. Sorry. I have allergies uh, for some reason, and it's not even spring, which is weird. Yeah, no, I my, my eyes were like watery in the morning. Yeah, and usually I get watery eyes when I have allergies. Yeah, it's weird. And probably because of my dog, but it's fine. Okay, so um we just continue and then I see that there's like weird line right here, like right here. So I'm going to have to use the red and then try to smoothen it out.
My yellow is way too bright. I should have chosen like the cream yellow that I had. It would have worked better with this apple, but I'm sure that everybody else has uh, this yellow. I have a yellow, gold yellow. Okay, um, Stephanie, do you have a question? Um, I have two. Uh, I have a golden yellow. Should I use the golden yellow? Um, this is yellow and this is golden yellow. Try using the yellow with, yeah, you only use the yellow because golden yellow looks too dark for the yellow. Okay. So that it will make it even uh, oranger than okay. it should be. And then lemon yellow. And this is yellow. But can you show, yeah, Emma, that's yellow, yeah. And then, can you, Yasha, can you show me the lemon yellow? It looks green -ish. Like, it looks greener. But you can use that on the stem. So the stem is just brown with a little bit of black. And then you can just use the lemon yellow, uh, lemon yellow on the stem because stem is a little green. And it should work fine with the stem. Mm. Uh, I will probably won't be able to finish this apple in this class period, but I can probably get most of it done, like the main parts. So I'm gonna try to finish this part first. And my white's gonna die today, so I'm gonna Ooh. I'm gonna draw in the reflection now, which is on the side. So, uh, after I added in the yellow on top of the red, I'm gonna use the white to make it lighter. Oh, oh yes. This? As you can see, it's way lighter because I'm pressing really hard just to get the white on there and then make it lighter. Um, that's only for the, um, um, the, uh, what's it called? Uh, the reflection. And then uh, I have the, Clean up this part. And the shadow is actually not that dark. You can make it darker. Um, so you can add in the brown plus a little bit of red and some white at the end to so fade it out in uh, black. Yeah, you can use black uh, more on the shadow because uh, it's a shadow, it's, it's going to be fine if we use black there. Wait, why do you... Huh? Well, your whites are kind of hard. I'm using like Prisma colors, which are really soft color pencils, basically. And they, and they work very well. Uh, for, I think, I'm assuming, I'm assuming like most of you are using Crayola. Um, Crayola. I'm using Crayola and other pencils. Yeah, Crayola is a really good pencil, especially for school because uh, it's cheap and uh, cheap compared to Prism colors. But yeah, um, it's cheaper and uh, it actually works pretty well. And it actually has some pigment on there, but uh, it's not as soft as. Um, standard prisma colors prisma colors are just super expensive but they work super well um, that's the main thing uh, so yeah i just i have crayola color. too yeah so crayola are just harder and then you can it's harder to get pigment onto the uh the the, the paper i have crayola and i think also 
So is that. Yeah. Yeah, unless a uh, common one is Crayola, is it's because it's um it's worth the price too. Um it's pretty good it in Walmart's go supply. And yeah, and I recommend you using Crayola when you start off. Unless you actually want to get into art in school, you want to take art classes, then... Uh, uh, I take art classes. Oh, art classes as in, you know, for us, we go into, like, you can choose electives, you know? Um, in sixth grade, I think, for us, it's in sixth grade. Uh, you, choose, uh, you choose between band, choir, and art. Uh, I don't know about other states. I'm in Texas, so um, it's different. It's different for each state, but um, we can choose between band, art, and choir, and then I chose art, obviously. And so, uh, yeah, when you, like, get to that level, like, when you're, like, actually going to be serious about art in school, and then you're going to, like, I'm get gonna, I'm going to be going in sixth grade. <laughs> what? You're yeah. in fifth grade? In, like, two more years. I'm in fourth grade right now. Oh, I'm in fifth grade. Oh. Wait, so I mean, do you teachers. have electives, like... What? We're in California. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not sure California. about California. I'm in Nevada. I have no idea what California or Nevada is. Like, like I don't know about their school system. But for us, we can choose an elective. Elective is, like, fine arts, basically. You have subjects, right? So band is just play an instrument. A choir is singing, and then art is just... I want know, choir. Yeah, so like when you're like, those rules. Yeah. when you're in the lower grades, like uh fifth I grade and below Maya. fifth grade and below, you 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 have all of them to try it out and to like pick which one is better and then yeah. I think that's how it happens. I'm not sure <laughs> about other states. Yeah. For us that's why I love choir. Yeah, I, I as, think too. I have choir. Um, I have choir at my after my um choir classes is every Monday. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, we have two minutes. We have until band. Over. Uh, and then we have band class. I don't know when because I haven't had band class yet. Uh, did you have to choose? No, a uh, band class. Three in the first semester, you can choose whatever you want. But Second semest semester, you can choose, like, a different type of instrument. And the third semester, you can choose a different oh. type of instrument. Okay, that's interesting. Because for Texas, I think, I'm not I'm not sure, actually, because each school district is actually different, which is so weird. Um, but, yeah, for my, my, my sub, uh, basically, they you have to choose one. So, out of the three options, which is band, choir, and art, you have to only choose one, and you have to stick to it. And until you get to high school, you can drop it if you want to and choose another one, but you can only choose one, which is... Oh, oh now I know why my brothers don't like exercise in school. Uh, yeah, that's only that's only us. I don't know about other other states. Or what time is it? Uh, it's... It's, it's almost five minute. There's one more minute until so Emma, I think you have class, right? No. no? My class changed okay. until six ten. Not six okay. anymore. Oh yeah, yeah. That's I great. have a class though. Oh, wait. Well, I'm using a break. Oh, Australia. I'm I'm seventy. Uh can I go and get have... my sharpener? Yeah. Wait, who has a class? Right now, like who has to leave at eight? I don't need to leave. I'm free. I don't have a class. Only this class and this one. Uh, because I can stay here and finish this if you want. Yeah, you can. So, um, all I'm doing is trying to fix it. I guess. And you can just um, like I explained everything. Uh, the details, finding the details is is just streaks and then spots for the yellow part. And then actually, I, I, I just completely 
like ignored the spots because it was just a little hassle. And then I was just like, okay, I think streaks look better on this apple. Um, so this is what I did. You see on the bottom, they're all streaks. There are no spots, but you can do spots. Spots are just, you do this circle, another circle, and then you just keep on with the circles. Um, um are you gonna do the, um, the pot that you haven't colored yet? Uh, what pot? Um, the pot the under the pot? light. Oh, that's not a, that's a shadow. Wait, the part on the, the light. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, this part, right? Yeah, when are you going to yeah, do I that? I haven't gone in there yet. I haven't gone in yet. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm going to, because I have to keep on working on the other parts. And then, yeah, this part is mostly done. Mostly. I can definitely make it better like this. And then we have to, like, keep on going. Um, this part um, is just... This, but lighter. Yeah, that's it. It's just brown, but light. Uh, this part right here, brown plus red, but lighter. Just less brown. And more red and more, a little bit of yellow if you want to. It, that's it. And then all you could do here, let me show you how to blend in the, the what is it called? Uh, the, the highlight, you just, Keep on layering it until you get to that nicely smooth uh, color. I'm going to work on this part right here. Okay, now it's nice and smooth. And then we're going to just press really hard with the white. That's it. You just press really hard with the white. But if you don't have a white, don't go really hard at once with this color. You just, you have to go, you have to fade it in. Oh yeah, and then if it's too too pink on the edges, you can um, go in with the brown. And then, or, or orange, you can also use orange. Go in the brown color lightly on top. And then with the white, you can go back in and then blend it out. So there's no edge. The llama. I have a runny nose. <laughs> okay, and then that's that. Uh, does anybody need to leave? Or uh, Okay, so... I have. I need to leave in two more minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the recording. Because there's a niece there. Let's stop the recording. So thank you everybody for watching the recordings. Mm -hmm.